Hi and welcome to part 2 of my favourite arcade ports on this Commodore 64. There were some cracking games in part 1, so let's see what I picked in part 2. Kicking things off we're looking at Ghouls and Ghosts, released in 1989 and published by US Gold. Now Ghouls and Ghosts is one of those controversial games from back in the day, because the C64 and the Amiga version is pretty much not like the arcade. And that's mostly down to the soundtrack. Now I personally love this game on the Commodore 64 and I love the Tim Fallen music as well. Very atmospheric and for me I think it's a great game. Track and Field. This was released in 1984 and published by Konami. Now Track and Field is one of those old time arcade classics. And it's an unusual arcade cabinet because it doesn't have a joystick. But the C64 version is a great game. The only issue I got with it though, you gotta shake the joystick. And if you got a 30 year old joystick, it's not gonna last very long in this one. But it's still a great game. Bionic Commando, released in 1988 and published by Go. Now Bionic Commando, the one I'm showing you is the European one. And this is a great game. Got great music, great graphics, and a lot of playability in it too. But the US version ain't so great. So if you're living across the pond and you fancy a bit of Bionic Commando, then I certainly recommend you try the European version. Power Drift, released in 1990 and published by Activision. No, Power Drift is a classic Sega arcade game. And it's a great port onto the Commodore C64. It's got great music, great graphics, and the course itself when it elevates and drops down is just fantastic. Cabal, released in 1989 and published by Ocean. Now Cabal is an arcade classic. And this is the European version. And it's a great game too. You got Keith Timman's music throughout it, you got plenty of action, and it's got really nice graphics too. Arkanoid, released in 1987 and published by Imagine. Now Arkanoid's one of those games I think all us C64 fans played back in the day. If not, we did certainly play it at some point. It's a great game, Martin Galloway's music in it is awesome too, the loader is memorable as ever, and yeah, plenty of fun in this one. Black Tiger, released in 1989 and published by US Gold. Now Black Tiger is the last game I bought on my C64 back in the day. Who would have thought 30 odd years later I'd be buying new games for the system? But anyway. This is a great game, it's got great music, great graphics and great gameplay too. I just don't understand why this game doesn't get enough mention when it comes to arcade ports on a Commodore 64. Nineteen forty two. Released in nineteen eighty six and this was published by Elite. Now 1942 is a top down shooting map classic from Capcom and was very popular in the arcade back in the day. So the C64 conversion, I couldn't wait to get hold of it. And it's a great game. It's got all the action like the arcade, it's got the music too. And yeah, I was the fun in this one. Outrun. Released in 1988 and published by US Gold. Now Outrun is another one of those games where it's controversial. You either like it or you don't like it. I like it because it's got great music, the SID chip did really well in this one, and on top of that as well, it's got great handling and great sense of speed. There's also a US version as well. I'm showing you the European one, and the only difference I can tell is the cars are slightly different. Paperboy, released in 1986 and published by Elite. Now Paperboy is an Atari arcade game classic. 
and the C64 conversion is a great one too. It's got the music in the game, it's got great playability and it's got nice graphics as well. Not an easy game to play beyond so, I do struggle with this one, but yeah, an all time classic this one. <laughs> SNK vs Capcom and this is the alpha version and this was released in 2023. Now I know what you're going to say before we start, this NNRK port, but originally it was released on Neo Geo Pocket, so it's definitely got the pedigree there. I thought I'll show you it just to show you what's in store for the future. And this is a great game. It ain't completely finished at the time of this video, but yeah. Got plenty of characters in it, great music, the backgrounds are nice as well. This is certainly one for you all to watch out for. Express Raider, released in 1987 and published by US Gold. Now Express Raider is a date East arcade classic. And I never knew they released it on a Commodore 64 until my friend Blue Eight Retro Computer and pointed me in the direction. I've been playing this now for a few hours and it's a great game. It's got great music, it's got great gameplay, it's got multiple styles of levels to it too. Yeah, action all the way through in this one and you must try this one for yourselves. ER Kung Fu, released in 1985 and published by Imagine. Now ER Kung Fu is an early fighting arcade classic and on top of that the C64 version is a great conversion too. It's got all the fighters in it, it's got great music by Martin Galway and on top of that as well it's got great graphics for the time as well. Wizard of War, released in 1983 and this was published by Commodore themselves. Now Wizard of War is a classic arcade game and C64 conversion is pretty much exactly the same. It's a very basic looking game which I like in the early C64 games. It's got great sound, great music but the best thing of all is the gameplay. It's always a fun and very addictive. Green Beret, released in 1986 and published by Imagine. It's also known as Russian Attack in the US. Now this game is hard. I mean I struggle playing this one just to capture it. But it's very rewarding at the same time. It's got great music, the graphics are great too. And yeah, if you like action platformers, this is certainly one you need to try. Flying Shark, also known as Sky Shark, released in 1987 and published by Firebird. Now Flying Shark's a top down shoot 'em up classic in the arcade and the C64 conversion is a great one too. It's got plenty of action in it, it's got all the in game music and yeah, and the graphics are nice as well. What more can I say about it? It's not an easy game by all means, but it's certainly a challenging one and very rewarding. Thank you all for watching, I see you in part 3 of my favourite arcade ports on a Commodore 64.